Welcome to I Love Stocks. I'm going to go over a little watch list that I was watching over yesterday on that huge pullback that we had. Kind of didn't see that coming. But you know how I look at stocks. I always look for supports, pivot points, and resistances, and a lot of them pulled back to my support levels. So let's start off with the SPY. Yesterday I called perfect three black crows and a hanging man candlestick. Sometimes, you know, they, they come close to a hanging man or they could be a hammer. So I like to look for a confirmation. My confirmation to break on this one here was at 338.63. Once it broke down, you could see the trend line here right on the SPY. I think we could pull back maybe to this low support right here at 337.36. And that should hold if it does pull back. And anything below that, I'll be watching real closely. I'll be looking for the uh, reversal and the candlestick patterns. And that's going to be the SPY. I think the resistance to break that I had was this 340.51. If we can bounce past that, we'll run it up to this 200-day on the daily. And that's on the hour. So let's look at the, the minute and see, just see if I see anything different. Yeah, I'm going to still stick to this pattern, this resistance level up in here right around 342.92 let me go back just one more on that five day yeah i'm going to stick with that 340.51 to break if we can get past that we'll move up to these higher levels and maybe get up to here right around to definitely get to this resistance level of 341.48 you might see a little bit of consolidation did call a nice reversal though on that hanging man candlestick Remember, they always come close to a hammer, so wait for confirmation before you jump into a to trade. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Nile. I talked about Nile over the weekend. I said we could pull back to this level right here at 25.50. We hit her spot on. We rose up from there a little bit. We got to break that 200, of course, but maybe we'll consolidate, and I'm going to call hard resistance right here, right around 26.53. And let's see if we can find a little pullback area on the 20 day, one hour. I still have my $24 alert set to get into the trade. But as you notice, it did hold up to that engulfing candle that we had right in here. And that's a retracement of about 38% on a 20 day chart. And that's on the Fibonacci. I have an automatic Fibonacci set up here. So we stayed above that 200, which gave it a positive momentum to maybe get back up here. But I'm still counting on that $24 for a strong buy. If we do pull back to a double bottom, we could have a retracement back up also. Nile. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Apple. Apple's had a pretty good pullback for two weeks. I have a low support at 112.45. We came real close to it at 112.83 on Friday. We could see start seeing a, a turnaround, a cup and handle. Resistance to break 117.74. Tesla. Next on my list, have a triple quad bottom down here. We bounced off of it once. We're going to pull this up, magnify this a little bit. We went up to resistance level at 420. That's my pivot point in Tesla right now. Anything above it's a gift. Anything below it's a buy. 409.04 needs to hold. I'm going to adjust that support level to 410.86. I do that on the base of the candles. Called a golden cross. Called support on this thing. She ran up, pulled back. Golden Cross, people ask. Let me see if I got a chart here. Um, it's when the, uh, I don't know what time frame I had this on, maybe the one minute daily. It's when the 50 crosses over the 200, and the downtrend is when the 50 crosses down over the 200. So that's always a good positive buy sell indicator for beginners that like to trade stocks, and that's the 50 and the 200 SMA on Tesla. Or on any other trade. IWM called a support level right down here at 158.72. You see it hit there, but we pulled back more. She ran up, consolidated right here on this trend line, and now it's kind of an equilibrium for it to move on up. She respected that 50 S, uh, 200 SMA. See how she bounces off that? The Golden Cross and the Death Wish. That's when the 50 crosses down. That's when you want to exit. That's when you want to get into the trade. That's going to be IWM on the daily one minute. I think we can run up, break resistance of 160.71, but let's see if we can get past 160.11 first. 
It's got to break this resistance level as you can see. Consolidated after hours at 159.65. I got to chalk that in there. I've traded over probably a charted over a million charts so I can run through these pretty fast and find supports and pivot points. Also on Saturday I did a two hour session showing you how to get there. Snap. Called a pullback on Snap. Got in the puts. Sold my put at 41.41. Called it early in the morning. I said this thing's going to consolidate in this area. We consolidated between 41.41 and 41.84. She did break support but we did have a fat finger after hours. Run right up here to the resistance levels. I think we're going to kind of consolidate a little bit. Any kind of pullback from here is going to be a strong buy. Then you take it up to these resistance levels. For right now, support to hold, 4092. Resistance to break, 4184. That's snap. I got into SPAQ yesterday. Again, got burned on it. I'm still in the trade. I'm a couple weeks out. I think we can get back up. SPAC, not a good trade for me yesterday. Facebook. Facebook, I think, is going to reverse. I hit my low support of 471.51. Let's pull this up to the 20-day and see if we can find anything different. I called this support level because of right in here. As you notice, we did have consolidation down at the low support level of right at that area. She did pull back and hit it. And, then, I, and then, then we had the same thing happen right here, kind of like a little pivot point that bounced up with an engulfing candle, pulled back to support, and here we are again. We could see this thing get back up here to right around 282.33, or pull back to the support and maybe grab that 200 right down here. So always keep that in mind. And, you know, I flip flop from charts. I got many charts that I can use. Right now I'm showing you how I use the 50. And the 200. Notice we had the golden cross here. Notice we had the golden cross here. A little pull back on that 50. Bounced off that 200. Bounced off the 200. Oversold. Bounced off the 200. So always keep that 200 on the 20 day and that 200 is an SMA. Also use the EMAs. Thank you Tony for EMAs. Amazon called a perfect reversal yesterday. Got in it. Hit my resistance level of 22. Six, uh, 20, 3260, 92. I had a target of 33, 16, We couldn't get up there. We couldn't break that 200. She pulled back on the 50, found support, found it in my channel. This is my channel of support that I called back last week. You notice she pulled back into that channel, hit the bottom part of that support. Great call. When I put these marks in here like this, that means I've, I've called that trade that day. And then Few, three days later, we hit that bottom line support. Strong buy. We're moving up higher lows. I think we can break this resistance line. This is a trend line that I'm following up. You see it hits that 32.6092. And if we pass 200, we'll go up higher. And that's Amazon. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Space. Space has had a pretty drastic pull off. Branson's asking for more money. We had the death wish. Pulled back more. Like to see that 50 start to curl up. Like to see this start to reverse up, and break $19, and get back up to 20. That's space, but he's asking for more money again. And every time he does, it pulls back, and then it strongly rebounds. That's space. And the last one we're going to do is going to be Netflix. Netflix fell back into my channel of support that I called uh, over the weekend. She stayed in that channel. I have resistance levels right up here, right around the $500 mark. You see that 497.61. We did touch that on Friday. And she pulled back, broke below my pivot point inside that channel, but regained balance. I think we need to break the resistance level. And that is 419, 494. Let me see here. This 494, let's say 494. Let's just say 494. Okay, a little under 494, 494 somewhere. So if we can break that and get out of that channel, we'll start to gain some momentum. I think this will start to pick up now that there's more cases, uh, COVID cases. And that's it for the market report. Please stay tuned. Hit that like button if you like it. Follow us. Share this. 
and we'll catch you on a new day. I love stocks.